hey guys and welcome back to our channel we are back with a new episode of the challenge the challenge usa season two i was about to say the challenge world championship <laughs> <like that. laughs> um, they 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 blended together they blended together <laughs> but um yeah so this is our first week with the competitors we're now on individual uh they're now playing the individual game uh yeah. according to tj from last week yeah so um, at the top of the episode, we basically see everybody excited to be playing the individual game. They're mm -hmm. talking about how their game is open. And throughout this episode, we also see uh, basically Big Brother and um, basically, which is Tyler, Alyssa, and Monty, basically agree that they need to stick together for any chance of survival because people are playing um, essentially to get rid of Big Brother. And they also yeah. mention that even though Josh... And Fessy, our big brother, they're they not. <laughs> yeah, as I say, as we've been saying, they're not like big brother strong because they're connected to the challenger people more. So yeah, I, I would have never counted on their like big brother vote. So it's really yeah. only three big brothers people in there, and Alyssa's the only girl. So yeah, uh, speaking of, because she is the only girl, uh, we do see a scene of her basically crying, stating that she is overwhelmed, um, but luckily she does have Tyler in the house, who kind of is her comfort zone and consoles her, and she just kind of want to vent, and she just feel like uh, the game is getting the uh, best of her, mm -hmm. uh, because it's very, like, backstabbing, manipulating, and all that, and she said that is not part of her character. Oh, yeah. Yeah, um, I like Alyssa. I like Alyssa, um, and I don't really understand why the people have decided to, like, take out Big Brother. Like, I understand why Survivor, maybe, but the champ, the vets, I don't know, maybe because they think they, they just low, so I might as well just knock them out since they're getting lower. Yeah. But I would, I this like it seemed like most of especially the, since they work with more Big Brother people than yeah. Survivor people. So yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I think yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe in all the Survivor people are really strong, so you would think they would be trying to get them out more so yeah. than the Big Brother people. Um, but they are basically just trying to eliminate them. <laughs> I think it's just mostly because they've said their names already. It's easier to just keep saying their names, and it just has worked out that way. So maybe I th I think that's it, but and I was I didn't yeah I didn't really realize that it was a divide like that and that the Big Brother was so low until this yeah, they look a very amazing race separate. right now. You said what? They look a very amazing race, like yeah. you know? <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Um. So we do see that uh, Bananas is trying to talk to Michaela and basically pull her in into the ranks of his roster, as he called it, uh, because, like he said, Michaela is a good player, but um, it is dangerous to have her working against him versus having her work with him. So they are trying to get on the same page, and Michaela, once again, Karen, she was like, it's funny how... These players always want to strike a deal afterwards instead of like, but she's like, you know what? I, I want to work with Bananas because I feel like out of all the vets, he would probably protect me more than uh, Wes would because Wes would protect me and she wanted to work with Wes, but he wouldn't like stick his neck out for her. Whereas I didn't Bananas get a statement because I don't. I why did. Think, well, what does she think? Why does she think Bananas would? would because Bananas. It? Although Bananas isn't trustworthy by any means, he's the lesser of two evils. As How? Saw, <laughs> I don't understand in what world Bananas would save her and Wes would not that Wes will save her, but I don't understand. Part of Bananas Alliance, he does typically protect his alliance. So now we're in the daily challenge, mm -hmm. and it's called Spell Lunkers, where players will be playing in four heats. They must jump off a giant cliff and head out to an underwater word puzzle. They uh, will then have to figure out the theme of that puzzle, unlock a flashlight, which will help them with another puzzle inside of a cave. Then they have to figure out that theme, break the code, release a smoke flare, which will stop their clock. Mm -hmm. And the person, the man and the woman who does it in the fastest, wins safety from an arena, and they will then select one man and one woman to go into elimination. So pretty much the same, it's just only two winners this time. 
Yeah. Um, um, I thought it was. I thought it was a good daily. I thought it was a good. Like the challenges this episode were good. Only thing is, if you were gonna do four heats then I thought it would be another heat to find out the winner of the four. You know what I mean? Usually yeah. you see the heats because you're going to have the main heat of the winners from the heats. You yeah. know what I mean? And so otherwise, everybody could have just did it at one time. I think the only reason they didn't do that because they wasn't going to put another puzzle down there. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, well, maybe. Yeah, they could have put a couple puzzles in the border and everybody do it. And then we whoever get it, you know, you get it, you get it. But to do heat implies that after everybody go, the winners of each heat will compete for the ultimate. Yeah. And I think they... the only reason they did it this way is mainly because of setup. They didn't want to have to get new boxes or pit multiple boxes out there. And yeah, they the like, we, not, we only going to have four boxes. <laughs> <laughs> they said, we're not up. doing this setup too many times. We're doing yeah. this one setup. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I do think overall it was a good daily. Yeah, um, I mean, me personally, I don't like when everybody help each other out. Um, but at the same time, I also don't like what Wes and Tori did. Yeah, um, I think if where... you say, I, yeah, I don't think they should have said they're going to help the people out if you're not going to do it. Don't just don't don't say you're going to help each other out. And then if individual, that's fair game. But then when they just took off, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> like I understand Wes. I understand Wes. He was already like, all right, bye later. Um, but Tori, on the other hand, like she had it done to her, so I don't understand why she would do it to someone else. And yeah. poor Sebastian, that boy is blinded by love. He was yeah. like, Oh, Tori, I don't know why she just didn't tell me, but at the same time, I find that kind of hot. Like, what <laughs> I understand. So, with the guys, I'll be like, like, okay, if I'm Tori. Once, like, if I'm, okay, I'm Wes, I get to the dock, and then Tori comes, I'll tell you, because you are a woman, so you are not competing against me for the challenge, you know what I mean? Yeah, and then yeah, you're I my life, you, too. But I'm sorry, Sebastian, we cannot work together. That does not make <laughs> sense for us yeah. to work together, because only one of us can be the winner of this heat. So I was like, no, you cannot work together. Yeah. <laughs> that, so, yeah, I'd be like, if, if, the, if, a, if I'm a man and a woman... Is, is right next to me, I'm going to tell her to answer because we're not competing for the same spot. So, yeah. yeah. Um, but, well, yeah, but, yeah, but the end, at the end, I, I was kind of surprised by the winners. The winner, I thought the way they I thought the female winner was a little sus. I kind of knew, well, one, the second, so the two, uh, well, for Tori, it was a straight blowout, apparently. Uh, because she was the only female, I guess. She got to that second puzzle. Wes probably would have been a winner if he would have got to that second. Because if Tori is the winner yeah. overall for everybody, she was the winner. She They said she was faster than anybody, the men or anybody. So I if so, she because the, they, uh, they put Johnny and uh, Josh together. So I think yeah, she... but they, they, they said, uh, I thought, oh, I thought they meant, okay, maybe I'm... Maybe I'm That's why I was like, I don't know if Tori was just a blowout against all the females or if she was like a blowout in general. Yeah, I thought he but was they saying like, of, like, she can't be a blowout if they didn't be like, well, then the fastest guys were, so I mean, if they would have been yeah, like the fastest I'm... person with Tori, I don't know, maybe. Yeah, maybe, I don't I know. He was but anyway. Was, the way he made it seem was that she was faster than everybody, so then when they said she was faster than everybody and Wes was in her group, I was like, okay, well, maybe Wes won, but I thought they made it seem like Johnny was gonna like win because he he didn't he didn't have no problems, you know what I mean? He did it yeah. just like that that. So I was like, Johnny's the winner, obviously. But then when they said Tory was the, it sounded like he was saying overall winner. I was like, okay, well, maybe Wes won, but he did take a long time on that second puzzle, so maybe not. Um, yeah. But but, uh, but yeah, so but Tory yeah. won. So. Uh, so we do see that Josh and Bananas are uh, the fastest males. Uh, like I said, I think Bananas was faster, but for Josh, I don't know how he got in that category, uh, because I don't think he did faster than some of the other guys, but again, that could just be the way timing um, and the editing was um, mm. working out, because he was in that water for a little minute before even moving to the second puzzle, so. Yeah, the, uh, what was I say, the, this challenge, I don't know, I don't know how, um, when I think about like Tiffany who can't swim well, I don't know how she did this challenge. This was all water, <laughs> diving down, you know. I don't know how anybody who cannot swim that good, uh, could have 
could possibly competed in this challenge. Tori and Johnny are our overall winners. And basically, the vests are in power. But one thing I do appreciate Tori and Johnny for is they are smart. And they was like, you know what? Let's talk to Desi, Michaela, and Chanel because they have the possibility of winning daily. I don't know about Chanel because she have a real... I mean, she's strong, don't get me wrong. But, I mean, maybe it's the editing, but she hasn't really showcased, like... Mm -hmm. In the challenges, I would say. Like, politically, okay. yes, but in the challenges, no. Um, but anyway, they are considered the stronger women. And uh, Tori wants to strike a deal with, basically, um, she says it is better to, yes, get rid of stronger women, but you also don't want to get or try to eliminate them too quickly because it might turn around and backfire and they have a possibility to throw you in and um, yeah. vice versa. Which is smart because I prefer to either lose to you in the final, then try to throw you out, and then before the final, I get eliminated. So yeah. I prefer just to have you in the final than to, yeah, or somebody else take you out altogether. But let me yeah. keep my hands clean. So mm -hmm. they strike up a deal, essentially, you don't vote for me, I don't vote for you. And um, yeah, you know, they shake on it. It's all cute, come by, uh, cute by y'all and everything. Mm -hmm. So basically, uh, when we get to the actual nominations, it's pretty much uh, straightforward Tyler and Alyssa uh, because they're a couple, they're big brother. And um, yeah, I still don't get what Tyler did to them. Tyler didn't uh, do anything. I just feel like there's just... bigger, like even Alyssa, I just feel like there's bigger fish to fry. Yeah. So I would have went for like a Chris. Mm -hmm. or like a Fessy who I know has proven to not be trustworthy but um, they're working with Fessy because he's I get that part but at the same time Johnny and Tori are known for not really caring about who they're working with like well, if I think Tori people, has always cared who she's working with well she's but very Tori like, and Fessy are they working together but they're not working together they're they just are. partners they're partners of convenience they they're working they're together. moving because they like their games are working together but they're not working together I think they are. I mean, I so. do whatever he wants sometimes. Bessie is working with like Corey and Josh. Tori is working with like Josh, Bananas, and some other people. So their games are intertwined, but I don't think they're working together. I didn't want Tyler and Alyssa to go in because I just, I don't know. I don't know. And then if, you know, it's going to seem like it's going to be more the same until they get out. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm indifferent about Alyssa, but I do think Ty Tyler is a good player. However, mm -hmm. again, another person blinded by love, he decides that he wants Alyssa to be safe and he prefers to go in versus her. So he wants to make it a guy's day. And I would have been, not me. Like, I'll see you on the outside. You got my number. Like, I'll see you on the outside. Well, he confident that he can win. It's, yeah. He confident that he can win and you know, his plan to, uh, you know, and so uh, he says he wants to go in, like, so Alyssa don't have to worry about it. And so he want to try to make it a guy's day, but he makes sure everybody know he wants Sebastian because he thinks Sebastian will give him the best chance of winning. And um, that's Tori guy in the house. So it's it, like, you know, revenge as well, um, which I think they're equally yoked as far as like size and everything's concerned. So yeah, I think that would be cool. And and then the way the Hopper votes turned out, um, I think it's rigged. But he had a good number. Who did votes come from? <laughs> <laughs> um, I was like, I mean, I guess maybe the the vet the vets are the vets vote helped him. They they, they like I said, they don't care. Yeah. <laughs> the vets don't really think... care. So what I don't understand is so Chris talks to Josh and basically he wants to uh throw Monty in and basically he was like we got 14 votes against Monty and I was like your math isn't adding up. Well, I think the problem <laughs> is like, that he, he is counting all those vets but I think at the end of the day the vets are like we might have did this against Big Brother this time but it's still like 100 survivor people in there so they are the ones that put all the votes on what uh, Tyler wanted. Because how how Sebastian get seven votes? 
So Alyssa S. voted for Sebastian. Uh, Cassidy voted for Monty. Chanel voted for Monty. Chris voted for Monty. Corey voted for Sebastian. So um, Mon- oh, Desi you. voted for Monty. Fessy voted for Sebastian. Josh voted for Sebastian. Michaela voted for Monty. Michelle voted for Monty. Sebastian voted for Monty. Tyler voted for Sebastian. Wes voted for Cassidy. And then uh, Monty voted for Sebastian. I don't know why Chris thought that plan even made sense for Josh. You know what I mean? For Josh and Fessy to like, oh, yeah, let's get Big Brother out. What? No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that doesn't... That doesn't even make sense. He's, I think his his whole dilemma is Survivor. I'm sorry, Big Brother versus the vet. That that's when he, he gonna be kind of shaky on his allegiance. But for Survivor, I don't think it's a toss up or anything. Yeah. So like we said, Sebastian has six. Cassidy had one. Monty has seven. When TJ pulls the ball from the hopper, uh, Monty is the one who's going against Tyler. Um, I was like, it could have easily have been Sebastian. That was, that yeah. was, you know, because it was just, I don't want to say it's rigged, but I still feel like it's rigged. I feel like they want to, <laughs> because for storyline purposes, they've been putting up this whole Tyler and Sebastian, not Tyler, uh, wait, wait, Tyler yeah. and Monty oh, are the sorry. ones we don't want to go against each other. Uh, that's worst case scenario. They're both strong, they're big, rah, da, 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 da. so it's kind of been leading up to like this matchup essentially. So I feel like production had a hand in like oh it's seven we can easily pull a monty ball or something like that no, like i'm pretty sure no. production i'm pretty sure these matchups aren't as random as they trying to make it seem i think they are random but i do think it's some type of something happening with when the ball comes out of hopper because there's no way every time the ball comes out of hopper and the name is facing backwards this game is called too cool for spool where basically players must race to a stack of balls and recreate it on top of a large spool, uh, but they're tied and wrapped around the spool. So every time they move, the spool will spin. And basically, this was the worst elimination I ever saw. It was It was just so, this was the most frustrating elimination. First of all, the, I guess the ball needed to have more weight to them. They should have got some. Yeah, either they need to make a, uh, like, either like, not a ball, but like something that will stop them from like, falling all over. Yeah. <laughs> I, I would have to say, send me home. I can't, <laughs> can't, do, like, it. <laughs> can't do it. <laughs> Congratulations. Three hours. They literally was doing that for three hours. I would have been like, after an hour, I would have I mean, been like, definitely yeah. when Tyler literally almost had it. And so basically this uh, elimination was very close throughout the whole thing. But like we said, anytime you move, if you don't move correctly, if you move too fast, if you move just the wrong way, like the balls would tip over all, and you would basically have to start over. So it was very back and forth between who will win. Yeah. But at one point, Tyler literally was about to win, and then literally everything fell over. Yeah. And I was, and it I happened for Monty like, too. Monty had all of them about yeah. to win, fell over. Tyler had them <laughs> twice or three times. But I think this this elimination, you as viewers are either going to really love it or really just like be over it and hate it. They're doing their best each time. And I just think them, them balls are too light. I don't, I think maybe, I don't even, I don't even know. I don't even, I think that was the main problem. They need to put a little bit of sand or water <laughs> in the balls or something. Not too yeah. much because it still needs to be a challenge, but something that they're not, they was just, I feel like they was just those completely, Plastic balls that you get on Chuck E. Cheese or something. Yeah, the and ones so that those, be balls. Those are too the ones they fill like. the hopper with. Yeah, they're too. They're, <laughs> yeah, they they ordered the five hundred count <laughs> when they came here of them dang on balls, and so yeah, I think that they were just entirely too light, which made it super hard because there's nothing to keep them there. If I got six off, I wouldn't even be mad at it because I would be. Yeah, like, that's not that's not <laughs> a bad elimination to go home on. Y'all me from yeah, and everybody had their turn to possibly win it, and yeah. it, it was just it just it was just how it spun that time. But yeah, so Tyler wins the elimination after like three hours. So Monty is going home. Yeah, sad. Monty was a good player. He did bring like the politics. I do feel like he was another one who really didn't like shine in the challenges um i feel like the one challenge he could have shined in it was uh the truck one where they had to do the disc but because blue team stalled uh stonewalled them he couldn't yeah. really perform the way he wanted to but yeah i feel like a lot of the good players play good politically or socially but mm-hmm. their uh challenge um 
performance wasn't the best. So I do hope Monty come back uh, on the main season, an official yeah. main season. An official main season, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, I would, most of these rookies, I would love to see back. Almost this season, the rookies have been great, so I would like to see almost all of, all of them back. But that is our recap and review for this week of the challenge um usa season two please like and subscribe to our video leave a comment down below let us know what you thought of the episode and we will see you on our next one peace